All elite wrestling. All elite wrestling. All are welcome. It doesn't matter who you are or who you love. All. 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 Those. All. All sexual orientations. Different colors, different shapes, sizes. You have a place here at All Elite Wrestling. All. 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 all are welcome here. CW Elevation coming to you from the Kia Forum in Los Angeles, along with Paul White and Mark Henry and Tony Schiavone. Our first match, here's Justin Roberts. Your opening contest is an eight-man tag team match set for a one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first, Anthony Adogo, Nick Camarado, Aaron Solo, and QT Marshall, The Factory. Now, you know, I don't want to point out anything untoward. Uh-oh. Was it just me? Does QT's hair look a little thicker? Did he make a trip to Turkey to get some blood to put in? Wow. I don't know if that, or maybe he just got some of that spray stuff to put on his hair to make it look darker. I don't know. It looks good, man. I mean, then again, a guy that's thirsty, pond water looks good. Maybe his face is shrinking. <laughs> <laughs> their opponents being accompanied by Evil Uno, John Silver, Alex Reynolds, Alan Five Angels, and Dark Order number 10. Uh, what a great way to start elevation. We've got a four-on-four -four matchup or an eight-man tag, if you will. Or if you won't. <laughs> it's happening. It's going to happen. Love seeing Dark, Dark Order come out here. Alan Five Angels. And Evil Uno, John Silver, all these guys. You know I have favorites. You know I have favorites. Yeah, I know you. John Silver is my favorite. Uh, yeah, Johnny Hungy. You like Johnny Hungy. Johnny Hungy. Well, my favorite's 10. Yeah, I like 10. Alex Reynolds is, I'm a big fan of him, too. And I'm, I'm a big fan of all of them, yeah. actually. I'm a big fan of Evil Uno because, you know, he's a very, very intelligent guy. Have you ever talked to him and spent some time with him? And, it's not saying that the other member's dumb. I'm not saying that, of course. Right, right, right. right, right. It's you know, saying he's not. Nobody mentioned Allen Five Angels, so I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to give him a little love, though. You know, in a, in a drawer full of spoons, you know, Evil Uno's a knife. <laughs> gotcha. The sharpest one. The sharpest there you one. go, Paul you White. Aha. Uh -huh. had to reach for it, but it was getting there. It's great to have you here with us on elevation as we have now moved away from double or nothing this past Sunday where of course as you know CM Punk becomes the AEW world champion look at the big guy here Nick Camerata shove the meat man to start things yeah, interesting choice of offensive maneuvers by Nick Camerata like twice he's turned his back to Alex Reynolds that's not a mistake you want to make very often but, you know John Silver wants to tag in there you go well, I'm looking well, forward crap. to this, guys. <laughs> I love it. He's like, oh, oh, wait a minute. That's not wise. Hey, you I know what? You I don't want to gonna... do this. I tried this once. It didn't work out well for me. No. I, you <laughs> did. Yeah, it didn't work out for you. Oh, it didn't work out well for him either. Wow. He was kicked right in the side of the head. Boy, that Nick Camarado's powerful. It's a big dude, man. Yeah, man. He's hard to move. Yeah, when you get kicked in the jaw like that, you even odds. Look at Johnny Hungy take flight here, but a tag. And, and here's the very Johnny underrated Cole. Aaron Solo coming in. I mean, Aaron Solo is a hell of an athlete. I, I really think sometimes that QT keeps him down. I agree 100%. Wow, talent. really? Yeah, well, I do. Aaron Solo is a hell of a talent, has an incredible potential, but right. he's just hanging with the wrong crowd. Exactly. Look at that. So you think that QT is keeping him as his whipping boy? Face plant. Oh, well. Brady spin suplex double, double underhook one two as Allen out five angels is back in. I would say that the you know solo is not getting the opportunities he should get because he's aligned himself with QT. Well I could agree to that. Well, here's a stat for you every win that Silver Reynolds and Angels and Tan have had have come since they have joined the Dark Order. Well down goes QT and you know what I say that with delight down goes QT. You gotta say it like Frazier. Down goes QT. Down goes QT. <laughs> Down goes QT. Down goes. Okay. Into the ropes here. Yeah. 
And wow. Yeah, yeah maybe first time. Okay. <laughs> and down goes QT. Down Again. goes QT. Again. <laughs> Again. And Nick Camarano snuck in there. Yeah. To be such a big, imposing guy, he does a lot of low and underhanded things that I feel like it diminishes who he is. Yeah. Diminishes his power, yeah. That's the thing. I think the psychology and the training that QT has given Nick, instead of really relying on Nick's power and, and athletic ability, you know, he's trying to make Nick devious. But take a look at this guy in the ring now, though, guys. Anthony Agogo. The governor. That's elite athleticism yeah. right there, guys. They don't just hand out those invitations to the Olympics. 11 and 1 in professional boxing, seven wins by knockout, 70 plus pound and heavier than a middleweight at 160. And buddy Anthony Gogo is a great member of this, of this group. Boy, QT. As the ire of the fans snap Mare over. Oh, he's not. Wow. He slapped. He That's slapped a, Allen Files Angels and punched Tim at the same time. That's no. the last guy you want to get irritated with, Tim. In no man's land here for. All right, we got a little fight. Reynolds fighting out here now. Oh, wow. Q2 with an integrity. Yes, sir. A pickup and. Boom! Sit yeah. out, power bomb one, two, and a save. And Johnny Hungry says no. Here we go. Boy, the fans are into this one, man. Why not? Great talent all around. A little bedlam and chaos. The bodies just flowing all over the place. Absolutely. Aubrey, oh, wait a minute. Control. Aubrey, turn around. Eva Luno's got the chair. And Aubrey is. Uh, She's going to throw him out of here. No, 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 no. That's not how it goes down. Well, we need instant replay in pro wrestling. We need instant replay. No, we we never it. get out of here. Yeah, it, it's it's ruined baseball. We don't need it here. That's true. Okay. Matches will be an hour long, all of them. And now pick up. And wow, Lancy down. Great GDT by Alex Lancy. And then the guy Listen you knocked up there, they're hot. They're yep. waiting for this monster powerhouse to tag in and clean everybody's clock. And here comes uh, Solo. There goes Solo. The governor. Go -go. Big pump kick. Big belly to belly. Belly to belly. power flicks. in that, bro. And now pick up. Almost like a side suplex and missing a clothesline. Watch at this. What is going on? In uh, Nick Camarado just too big here. Oh. And 10 comes off with a shine, a flying shoulder block. He shows that in athleticism. Big, huge spine buster. He shows what an athlete 10 is. This is so good, man. I feel the crowd. Allen Five Angels now in. Oh, oh a discus flying oh. shot. One, two. Oh, boy. UT saved his team that time. Whoa. Oh, kick him again. Boy, Down so goes big. QT. Down goes QT. That's again. Stolen those feet. Big dive. Cannonball sent on that time and a pickup from 10. Watch out. Oh, man, the degree of difficulty for that movement. Ooh. Anthony Gogo, watch out. This guy. High. Oh, boy. He took the measure. Of uh, number 10 that time. Allen Five Angels missed his point of attack. Got a foot up. And a double stomp on the back. He's so quick, isn't he? Yeah, this kid can go. What an athlete. Try to boots off the, off the middle turnbuckle and a go go! Oh, oh knocked him right smack dab wow. out. Yeah, you see yeah. how he folded up? Man, you can call it. You can call it. Damn. There are your winners. The Factory. Wow. Every week, Tomozo takes another step in being an elite pro wrestler. Here it is again, Paul. Great teamwork for Dark Order. Watch him pop him up. Damn, right to the jaw. Boy, he changes the entire tempo of everything. He just turns the lights off. Yeah. Good for the governor. And a big win for the factory to open up elevation.
here in the month of June 2022. My entire life of like being in a like a music fan and a wrestling fan, the LA Forum has been like one of the meccas. Like I'd say almost kind of like the East Coast version of what MSG is on the East Coast. Kind of get goosebumps when I mean, you see the Magic Johnson and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you know, Elton John, Janet Jackson, Michael Jackson on the wall, like so many great names that have been here, and then AEW actually gets to be a part of this history. So it's, it's a wonderful feeling. I think you'd be surprised at how passionate the Southern California wrestling fans can be for professional wrestling. And uh, I think they're definitely gonna show up and represent in a particularly loud fashion tonight. We've been anticipating this date for over three years now. It was supposed to happen a while back uh, due to the COVID outbreak. We obviously didn't get that chance, so now we are extremely thrilled to finally bring All Elite Wrestling to the West Coast, specifically here to Los Angeles. Ooh, AEW, the wingmen are here in the city of angels spreading. Los Angeles. That's right, spreading our wings in the city of angels. Look at that, boys. We're finally in uh, our hood. We're not getting any air miles today, but I mean, Cesar is. But... Los Angeles. Just looking around at the Kia Forum thinking, Magic Johnson, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Motley Crue, Iron Maiden, and now, <laughs> Us, the wingmen. The biggest stars of all. The biggest stars of all here at the world famous Kia Forum. Kia. Los Angeles. That's, That's right. right. We, we, we... The minute I walked in, I was like, wow, you know, it's. I've been in this building so many times to see Ozzy Osbourne and Metallica and Korn and Ice Cube and countless bands. Um, growing up, this was one of the places in SoCal that a lot of uh, artists would go to. And I, been in here, I've probably stood right around here, right on the stage when Metallica played, and sat way up there when I was in high school and Ozzy played, and I saw one of my favorite bands, Korn, for the first time, and uh, always, you know, and there used to be Lakers banners and jerseys and King stuff, and just there's so much history in SoCal, and to be here as a talent today, you know, just walking freely and not being ushered to my seat, a real full circle moment for me, you know, almost 25 years into my career, just being a kid that grew up here, born and raised, the forum is, is very much sacred ground for me. So it's really cool to be here, and it's even cool when the lights go out and I still talk and nobody can see me. That's even better. But we're just gonna keep rolling because that's what we do, we improvise. Yeah, real cool to be here, man. Up next, we have Serpentico and Frankie Kazarian. Approaching the ring from San Juan, Puerto Rico, weighing 185 pounds, Sir Pentico. He's missing his better half right now. If I you want to call it that. I, man, I'm a big fan of Luther. But big he's throwing himself in. Well, you know, that's the whole thing. We keep blaming Luther, but maybe it's not Luther. Maybe it's the Pentico. Wow. Serpentico getting some undue heat here from Paul White. And his opponent from Yucca Valley, California, weighing 216 pounds. Ooh, guessed it, Frank A. Kazarian. Oh. Great ovation for Southern California's own Frankie Kazarian. Yeah, that does get a little hot over here on this side. And look at Christopher Daniels, the well, fallen angel. Well, well, well. Nice. It's like the video game. You get the call out. Just call somebody out. The chant of SCU from the fans here at the Kia Forum. Great duo, great competitors, really two of the best, not only in AEW, but in the entire world. Without a doubt. 
Boy, that Frank Frankie's got some bounce to his step. Oh, yeah, I know. Frankie can go. I hope that when I'm his age, I, I can still move around like that. Boy, you going back in time? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to rewind that tape. Is that what we're going to do? Yeah. Benjamin Button. Yeah, take it all the way back to when I had long hair and a bright future. Wow, I remember that. You sure do. You were there. I was there. Me and Jimmy Hart jumping around with the megaphone. Hey, baby. From mouth to the south. The only thing I've ever seen him eat in 25 years yes. are peppermints and Coca-Cola. That's about it. Hey, baby. It's so good to see you. Love Jimmy Hart. Listen to the fans erupt for Frankie Kazarian. Well, they respect him. Yeah, he is a good, he's a local boy that's done well. Oh, wow. Wow, he just got shut down quick. Keep nice ready. collar and elbow tie up. You know, Frankie's quite a musician here in Southern California as well. I didn't really? Know that. I didn't know. A, his band is called Gutter Candy. Really? Yeah. You're not supposed band. to eat candy out of it. Why do I feel like we should form a band, Mark? Get a couple moonshine It wouldn't take but two of us. It wouldn't take but me and you. That's it. Yeah, we, we're too big for the band bus. Kazarian sends in Serpentico, elevates him with the back body drop. Frankie's so great at controlling the tempo in matches. You know, he gets out aggressively, sets the tone, controls his opponent. I used to call him a chess master in the ring. Nice fall away, neck breaker. Hey, another uh, South, uh, sorry to interrupt you, Paul. Another no. Southern, Southern California kid is uh, Rick Knox, our referee here. So everybody in the ring is California. Well, right? except for Sapensko, he's Puerto Rico. Yeah. Ducks out of the way. Kazarian follows him in with a waist lock. Serpentico, nicely done. Hey, one thing you gotta you gotta give Serpentico this, and I know we've talked about it. Watch out. That's that springboard leg drop that Kazarian is known for. So precise with it, too. And quick. surgical. Yeah, surgical. Good word, surgical. I was going to say that Serpentico doesn't know when to quit. Now he's calling timeout right there. So yeah. I guess he does know when to quit. He does know when to quit. <laughs> oh, maybe he lured him in that time. Yeah, I'm really impressed how Serpentico's doing on his own. He's okay. doing pretty good. Yeah. Well, momentarily, DNT move. It's still, Kazarian's still hurting from that move. Serpentico's going to the head, and Rick Knox says, enough. Into the ropes, double axe handle off of the ropes that time. We used to throw that double axe handle really well. Harley Race? Harley Race. Harley Race was good at it. Greg All the Hammer spring. Valentine Greg was great Valentine. at it. Greg yeah. Valentine. Yeah, Valentine. Valentine. That's the one. Absolutely. Big chop from Frankie Kazarian. Well, wow, he smacked that one in there. I always love those when they sound off. He's trying to call a timeout. There's no timeouts in wrestling. Yeah, there's no crying. There's no timeouts in wrestling. You're looking in. Uh, well, I've, cried. I've cried before. I know you have. T. Harris take over that time. And wow. How about Sir up. Look at this guy. And rolling through, hooking a leg and getting a two. Might have done off with a better cover. That was kind of a cute cover. He was trying yeah. to get he was trying to get camera time versus winning time. Get too fancy. Yeah. You end up in the unemployment line. <laughs> That's true. You want to make it to the pay window. You, you should worry about the guy in the ring, not the one on the outside. You know, I'm telling you, all this craziness, I'm kind of leaning towards Serpentico as the root of it. Maybe Luther's a genius that's trapped by Serpentico. He just saw, he just chopped him in the chest, and I saw his handprint in the back. I saw his soul fly out of his butt. <laughs> Rick oh. Knox warning, but... Oh, that's a hug. Serpentico gets chopped. He gets sent in. A duck. Another duck. Serpentico. Oh, oh right wait a minute. Don't do that. Don't do that. Good psychology game by Serpentico. He's trying I, to bait. I guess. Uh, don't turn your back on Kazarian, by the way. But again, in this situation, Serpentico is a spoon in a drawer full of knives. That's, see, I told you. Boom. Man, I saw that one coming when it first started. I think the people outside waiting to get in the building saw that one coming. <laughs> Kazarian was rolling out on the far side, and I said, I bet you he's going to sneak around. Sneak around. Sneak around, What do you know about sneaking around, Tom? <laughs> I, I've been hanging out with you. Oh, okay. really? Let me turn that heat back real quick. <laughs> Let me turn that back on you. Yeah. Focus on what's going on right okay. now. In the the heat of the running sun. The show. <laughs> Big high flying elbow. 
Yeah, let's talk wrestling. I mean, just look how precise and clean. Yeah, man. You used the word surgical earlier, Mark. Like, Frankie just makes it look so oh, Look at that. This Slingshot that. cutter. Slingshot cutter. One, two, three. Man, that was beautiful. Oh, winner of this match. Frankie Kazarian. Pulling another oh. offensive mood out of his arsenal there, Paul. I was just saying how Frankie does everything and makes it look so effortless and so easy on his execution. Right here, that incredible slingshot over the top rope cutter. So Frankie had no choice but to go along for the ride. I'm glad you said Arsenal. The winner, Southern California's own Frankie Kazarian, who, by the way, with a win, gets his 72nd win in his AEW career. It's the announcement. Two of pro wrestling's biggest powerhouses coming together to give you an event like you've never seen before. Shockwaves through professional wrestling. This is about the undisputed elite and Bullet Club. It's the pay-per-view event the world has been waiting for. AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling presents Forbidden Door. Live Sunday, June 26th on Pay-Per-View. Up next on Elevation Women's Tag Team Competition, the Professor Serena Deeb and Nyla Rose team up against Sky Blue and Miyu Yamasta. This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching ring first from Washington, D.C., the native beast, Nyla Rose. Now, as we get prepared for our next match, we've got an on-ticket sale coming up this Friday we want to talk about. AEW debuts in Grand Rapids, Michigan at the Van Andel Arena with Rampage and Battle of the Belts. Two AEW televised shows under the same roof on the same night, Friday, August 5th at 8 p.m. local showtime. Tickets go on sale this Friday, June 10th at 10 a.m. Eastern. And her partner from Oakton, Virginia, Serena D. The professor, she's in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, this guy, this heck of a team right here, guys. She's got the experience. Serena Deeb, and you got the power of Nyla Rose. And they're ranked number one and three in the division right now. Wow, that's gonna be hard to beat. You're right, man. That's a pretty tough squad. That's like where you, uh, you know, you stack your, you stack your squad. You got a submission expert in Serena Deeb, and then you got Nyla Rose who'll just pull your spine out and beat you with it. Yeah, whoa, that was graphic. Opponents, the team of Sky Blue and Miyu Yamashita. Sky Blue and Miyu Yamashita. Yamashita making her first appearance, their excursion into the U.S. since 2019. And it's her debut here, and we look forward to seeing this young lady wrestle. Nine year veteran who's considered one of the top wrestlers at Tokyo's Joshi Pro. Three-time Princess of Princess Champion, which is their top champion, Joshi Pro. Wow, this, this is the first time she's been in the United States since 2019, right? Right. So yep. I'm telling you, she's going to come out here and try to prove something, let people know who she is. She also brings an MMA background, which I didn't know until Tony said that. So that's going to be an interesting matchup with Serena D, too, who's a 1,001 holds master. We got the very young and talented uh, Chicago native Sky Blue at only 22 years of age. She takes a boot to the gut, and Nyla is off and running. Nyla just imposes her will all the time. Uh oh. The Sky Blue doesn't fitness. care. Trying to chop Ooh. that tree down. Good job. Oh. Ow. Well, she missed the first time. She, she definitely got her the second one. Ooh. Back elbow by Nyla Rose. 
I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't help but react to that like that. That's, that looked a little snug. It did. God, she threw that Beal into the corner. Yeah. Nyla was smart enough to cut the ring off. We talk about important that is the tag team. Cut that ring off. Keep your opponent in your corner. Right now, here's Serena Deeb. And Paul, a lot of times when they when they build someone, they take her by the shoulders. Right. She build her by the neck. Yeah. Basically, what she did, you grab her neck and build her over. Well, there's no philosophy where the head goes, the body's supposed to follow. So in Nyla Rose's case, she might be careful and tear somebody's head off. Wow, that was a very interesting way to get out of that cravat. She did a forward roll and a side spin and flipped her right out of it. If I had known that all these years, maybe I would have been able to get out of it. No, we wouldn't have been able to get out of it. We, wow. we could have known it and still not done it. Man, she's got to talk about getting put through the ringer. Big forearm club to the chest. Ooh, and a knee and Mastro, strike. that big knee into the gut. Wow, you lost your big <laughs> solid kick. And I felt that all the way over here. A one count that time and a kick out here by Serena Deeb, who had one heck of a matchup last Sunday at double or nothing, her shot at the world title. And of course, Thunder Rosa. Yamashita. Wow, look at that. That was innovative. Very prolific with the legs. Here's a cover. One, two. It's like a corkscrew leg drop. But more like a forward kick. Yeah, but she did the spin, too. I don't know. We'll consult with Excalibur later. You know, she's the only person that I've ever seen, I think, wear the five-toe sleeve shoes. Oh, wow. There you go. Dragon oh. screw it. Boy, oh, boy. You know, I'm not so sure that a dragon screw, it may not be a good idea to hold on. Just go with it, right? Just, just go with it. Let That's it right. go. <laughs> like, like right there. It's going to hurt either way. I get it. Well, Serena Deeb is smart. <laughs> She's trapped him in the rope, so it's just that little hesitation. You can't flow through it because the ropes are in your way. So it's going to have more torque on the knee. Good ring awareness by Serena Deeb. Uh oh, she's setting up for a double. Serena Deeb, and they're cheering her here because they know that she can do a lot of different things. Look at this. A suplex while being hooked on to Yamashita. That was a two for one, Tony. That's respect right there, guys. That She's not the nicest person on earth. No, no, no not, not at even at all. close. You get cheered because people have reverence for you. That means they res that's a lot of respect right, right. there. Well, and she yeah, can look how aggressive Serena Deeb is. She's yeah. going right after that Ramasta's knee. Oh, man. Pointed the elbow right above the knee there, too, Paul. Twisting that cartilage. And she maintained contact the whole time to keep her from getting to a corner. Absolutely. Cut that ring off. The only thing about Nyla Rose is it looks like she's always having fun beating people up. I'm sure sociopaths think that way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> One, two. Now, you can tell Nyla Rose is having fun. She likes imposing her will. and But then again, we've also seen Nyla Rose when she's on her bicycle trying to run away when the tide gets turned, too. Bullies are always having fun when they're in charge. No, not like this. Oh, well, I'm yeah, I know what you, you were thinking about. Yeah, I thought uh, they were going to do the wishbone. Yeah, too. I thought she was going to make a wish. She try. It looks like well, it's not a figure four. Fans thought it was a figure four coming, but basically it's. It's actually putting a lot of torque on that left ankle right, right there. So yeah, it's kind of like an ankle lock hooked under the arm, but you're using your own legs, using their own legs against them. Neo trying to get to the ropes, and she does. But Serena will not will let go. Will not let it go. Get all she can get out yeah, of it. You know, see, I've always been a, a, a proponent of that. If somebody's in the ropes, take it to the four count, right? Why not? That's why you have four seconds to do That's it. That's right. I saw many of your matches, Mark, where you got a guy in the ropes, and they would tell you to get off of him. I got off immediately. Nah, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Tell that story somewhere Come else, on. Pal. Come on, brother. That's usually where Paul goes, oh, hey, my name is Paul White. Yeah. <laughs> Must be new here. Introduce yourself. Okay. Me by Yamashita and, well, uh, wow. she bounced wow. off like a ping pong ball. But it staggered Nyla Rose momentarily. It's What's still. It? Oh. I'm telling you, Yamashita kid. Throw those legs, can't you? She can Incredible throw those kicks. kicks. Man. Incredible kicks. Wow. Prolific wrestler. Yamashita trying to escape here. Nyla Rose and kicks herself loose. And here comes the young Sky Blue right now. 
Now the Rose had using their instinct to keep her in the corner. Sky Blue gets in anyway. Sky she Blue is all fine. Like... Sky Blue has only been wrestling for four years. Oh. But has really learned and come a long way in those four years. Unfortunately, yep. Well, I was saying she better get out of the corner. And she did. And okay. The high rent district. And the high risk district as well. She's trying a big yeah. off the top sunset uh -oh, flip. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Yamashita comes off. Oh! Springboard. Kick one, two. Oh, she almost oh, that won was, it. That was close. That was really, really close. Incredible teamwork by Sky Blue and Yamashita. Jawbreaker that time. Staggered Nyla Rose. Down goes the professor. And down goes Sky Blue. Wow. Yeah, I get what Sky Blue's doing. She's trying to protect herself, but you can't. Whoa! Play. Look at the flexibility. That was an extended kick for the knee. Oh! You're right, Paul. It's amazing. <laughs> Incredible <laughs> kick. Incredible <laughs> European uppercut. You're not kidding. It knocked her for a loop. <laughs> Whoop. Now, we've seen this oh, move before, no. Tony. Uh, this is oh, the same no. move where Nyla Rose broke Dr. Britt Baker's arm. It's a very dangerous place for Sky Blue to be. Man, you can ah. count to a thousand. Man, you are right. Serena Deep comes in. And she picked her up, and she knew that I'm going to add insult to injury. Plants her face first. She could have finished it again. Nah, she wants a, she wants the serenity lock. You know damn well. There that, there's yeah. that gear change. Yeah. I love how smart she is by setting it up beforehand. Here are your winners, Nyla Rose and Serena. D. I'm telling Left you. a lot on the table. That's a, that's a heck of a team right here. They did pretty good together. They really did. If I was uh, competing in tag team competition in women's division, I'd be worried about these two. Yeah. Serena Deeb, I'm not, sure Rose. not the last time we see them together. Big win here on Elevation from the Kia Forum in Los Angeles. I'm an anomaly, so I'm very, very unique. I'm very different, and I am aware of that. I'm gender fluid, I'm trans feminine. There's not many people like me <laughs> in wrestling at all. I don't think I'm probably the first of my kind. I feel very welcome at AEW. I think their mission is to be very inclusive and just showing people that, you know, there's people that look like you that are on TV and that can kick ass and be successful. Concrete Rose! I've created actually a concept, which is why they call me the Concrete Rose. It's being feminine, it's being beautiful, it's being tough. I have all of those qualities. So Concrete Rose, I was able to define this crazy mix up of stuff. I just want everyone to know that there's nothing more beautiful than being yourself. Finding yourself and being exactly who you are unapologetically, that's when you have power. And don't let anyone tell you that you aren't or that you can't because it's possible and I'm living proof. It's gonna get crazy for our main event on Elevation as the wingmen take on Death Triangle. Approaching the ring, Cesar Benoni, Pretty Peter Avalon, and the Hollywood Hunk, Ryan Nemeth, the wingman. All right, before this match gets started, a couple of reminders. This coming Wednesday, June 8th, AEW Dynamite returns to Independence, Missouri, the Kansas City area, and the Cable Dama Arena. Tickets to the AEWTIX.com in two weeks on the 15th of June. That's Wednesday, June 15th, back at the Shavitz Arena in St. Louis. Wednesday, June 15th, AEW in St. Louis. That's at AEWTIX.com. Why does he have a winter coat on in Los Angeles? Well, you know, it does get a little cool at night, right, Paul? I mean, it, 
Well, I mean, if you're that cool, that dude needs to try to stay warm somehow. You know? Okay. It's like putting a koozie on a frosty beverage. Ooh, koozie on a frosty beverage. Very cool. Wow, well, great analogy. Wow. Oh, oh, look at the big brain on the why, why does, why does 30 Peter Avalon make that face all the time? He, he thinks That's he's his face. Sexy. He was born with it. He can't help it, y'all. Man. Okay, we can do without all this shucking. Look, look, look at it. One thing him. you can say about pretty Peter Avalon, he has luxurious hair. Nice mustache. The lights are out in the Kia Forum. They're still out in the Kia Forum. Are you afraid of the dark? Want me to hold your hand? I'm afraid That's of this. That's not my hand, Mark. Whoa. It's a hell of an entrance, guys. Whoa, that was pretty impressive. And the report is being accompanied by Alex Abrahantes. Penta Oscuro. Phoenix and the Bastard Pack Death Triangle. Not a better name in the business, boys. Or Death Triangle? Death Triangle. Yeah, there's something else. So much talent between those three guys. Look at that. Man, just as cool. That dude menacing. doesn't sweat anything. Just menacing, though. Yeah. What a feature event we got here on Elevation. Don't forget tomorrow night here on our YouTube channel. It's AEW Dark. And then Wednesday, as we said, we are in Independence, Missouri for Dynamite and Rampage. I like how I roll my R's there, Mark. I like that. If I could do that, I wouldn't leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> I think that a pack, if he would have been born in America, he would have been one unbelievable safety. Explosive, athletic, fast, wow. great size. I mean, it's, he, he doesn't have a week. Well, I'm thankful he wasn't because he's one hell of a wrestler here in AEW. But thank, thank God we get to keep him. Yes. Mike Posey, the referee, calls the bell. Good to have you with us as we bring you elevation for the Kia Forum. Speaking of football, the man in the ring, Big Caesar, was a four-time all Brazilian tight end and the captain of his American football team in Brazil. Wow. He looks like a tight end, though. Yeah. Looks like one of those big tight ends that Georgia Bulldogs have. Wow. Oh, God. Don't make me throw I'm, so I'm sorry. I, I, should, I should clarify don't, myself. One of the big tight ends, the national champion Georgia Bulldogs have. Let me clarify that. <laughs> oh, no. And look at this. That is so quick. Yeah, the size discrepancy is not, it's not fair. Uh-oh, he's gonna pull it. He's gonna pull it, don't pull it. He told him don't pull it. He's pulling, he's pulling, oh, it's off. Easy, Mark. I'm so excited. Alex almost took a bump trying to kiss. Well, that would've been worth it. <laughs> that would've been so great if he'd have fell. Says there, but no, oh, oh my God. that super kick from Ray <laughs> Phoenix. He about tore Caesar Benoni's head off. Oh, his head rocked that time, and out goes the Hollywood Hunt and pretty Peter Avalon. Yeah. Got <laughs> taught Caesar Benoni is after that kick to still be back up. Well, they are dismantling the big threat, Caesar Benoni. Triple drop kick from Death Triangle. Boom! Did you see how fast that he kept up? This is yeah, this it, a whole nother lap, whole nother level of athlete. Jeez, that Watch is smart. Pack's not, well, look at this. No, no, no. Teamwork. Oh, my Lord. Stereo to a tope suicidas with a moonsault springboard in the middle. Boy, they got you talking about this crowd sitting on their hands. They got up then. They got up now for sure with this group. Casadori. Oh! 
poor Caesar. One, his group. two. There they, there they are. Yeah, poor Caesar right now is catching a rough end on everything. Not much for teammates. You think Brian Mammoth would be fired up to do a little bit more? This is. He's at home. Yeah, he's got a lot of rep he's got to back up in this town. All right. I'm sure he had a lot of people he gave tickets to in this town as well. Uh, I think he had to buy them. <laughs> okay. You want to keep getting those free meals at these restaurants that he frequent big dog in. <laughs> Got a pretty Peter though. That's just a lot of trouble right now. Big power slam by Cesar Bononi. Here comes pretty Peter. Drop that elbow right across his face. Just look at the size difference. You're in there and you've got Cesar Bononi beating on you. You know, and then you got AEW's Cat Williams that comes in there and beats on him. No difference. Ow. He meant to ducks low. Don't pick sling blade out of that. Don't want Penta to pick up speed. Is there anybody that does a sling blade better? That, that Chris. Maybe Dustin. Become one of uh, Penta Oscuro's trademark maneuvers, and here is Ray Phoenix. Meeting of the minds, but. Uh, wow, wow. It looks like Ryan Nemeth's knee got blown out. Now his head's getting blown out. No casting call for him tomorrow. No. no. He's got he's got to spend a day in the ma or two in the makeup chair. Unless he's reading for the part of a brute oh, special. Oh, that's his raw <laughs> strength right there, boys. <laughs> A bruised vegetable. And there's that power, Cesar Bononi. Look at that. And there's the athleticism of Ray Phoenix. And watch out. Yeah, Fox has ticked that with you. Shotgun drop kick off of the top springboard. Man, he kips up like a superhero, doesn't he, Mark? Looks like Superman. Pretty pretty. So fast with those kicks. So yeah. solid. Pretty Peter is not looking so pretty, guys. Oh, look man. how aggressive he's Pac took that down. Ryan's trying to tap, but he's not the legal got, man. Got the brutalizer on him. Meanwhile, the double team fear factor. Boom! One, two, and three, and this one's done. Meanwhile, the winners of this match, Death Triangle. The brutalizer is still on in the ring. Hawk hasn't let it go yet. Do you notice Ryan Nemeth was trying to tap on the way down through that? That's how much pain he was, but he wasn't a legal guy. He just wanted him to let him go. He wanted to get out of it. That was awesome, the way he powerbombed his own man. You know, it's going to be pretty hard to name a better three-man team in AEW. Yeah. We've got some good ones, but these guys are amazing. Death Triangle gets the win over the wingmen in our main event here on Elevation. And from Paul White and Mark Henry, I'm Tony Schiavone. It never rains in Southern California. Oh, my God, let's go.